Me and the boys are going to win every single prize at one of the largest theme parks in America. Today, we're gonna win literally every single prize at this theme park. I pretty much bought every single cool gadget I've seen on TikTok, and we're gonna test them out to see if they're cool and if they're worth buying. If you're on TikTok, then you've definitely seen some really cool gadgets, and you've probably wondered, are they worth buying? Well, today, we pretty much bought every single cool gadget off of TikTok. No electricity no running water, and no law enforcement. Me and the boys decided to spend 24 hours in this lab. There are no police officers, electricity, or running water. And for the next 24 hours, we're gonna be trying to survive in the world's most dangerous city. I brought a golf club. We're getting a ton of calls and tips on the copycat channels out there. Got a whole document. Phones are ringing off the hook. Airac even commented on my last video. And even the Airac copycat apologized. So we're doing good work out here. I've gotten a ton of messages to revisit the crimes of YouTube's second most hated twins. Well, no wait, wrong one, sorry. The Stokes twins. The Stokes twins, they're thriving on YouTube. 13.7 million subscribers and each video they make are getting over 10 million views. It was even reported that they bought the Ace family's foreclosed mansion in LA. So their video copying is doing wonders for their bank accounts. But I've talked about the Stokes twins before, so let's get into some of their most recent crimes. Seems like most of the video inspirations of the Stokes twins are from these few YouTubers. Mark Rober, Corridor Crew, FaZe Rug, and obviously Mr. Beast. So let's look at the evidence. Before we continue, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance-based subscription service. Kind of like how Netflix gives you hundreds of different titles, Scentbird gives you the opportunity to receive scents from over 600 brands in just a few clicks. It's a flexible subscription so you can skip any month without any penalties. Pick a fragrance, works for men and women, to try every month for just $17. Scentbird carries top designer brands like Prada, Dolce & Gabbana, and Versace, as well as as indie labels. Bottles of perfume can cost between $150 to $500 and even more. Yet with Scentbird, you can get a luxury fragrance for just $7 using my code. Scentbird is available in Canada and the US. And let me tell you about the scents that I received this month. This month I received Fierce by Abercrombie & Fitch, Confessions of a Rebel by Well Played, and Sage Supreme by Maison 21G. Favorite definitely has to be the Confessions of a Rebel because I really enjoy the smell of lavender and incense. Make sure to use my code for 55% off. And it's just $7 for your first month. Thank you, Scentbird, for sponsoring this video. I'm sure you've seen this video here. We're gonna be busting 200 myths in 50 hours. Ever since our last myth busting video, you guys have sent us even crazier myths to bust. The name of this video is Busting 200 Myths in 50 Hours, and they posted this January 31st of 2022. Very interesting thumbnail. I kind of like it, but you know, I've seen it before. Obviously, I've seen it before because I'm pretty sure Mark Rober was the one who started this whole smelling blood off of the fingers trend with the sharks swimming behind. The problem with these YouTube child vloggers is that one person copies another and then everyone else follows suit. So the Stokes twins copied Mark Rober's thumbnail. Then Brianna copied the Stokes twins. And then FaZe Rug copied all of them. I don't understand what's happening here. Can no one come up with their own ideas? Listen to these intros. We're gonna be busting 200 myths in 50 hours. Today we are busting 50 myths and we only have 50 hours. Today we're busting 50 myths in 24 hours. It's getting very tiresome, but let's continue on, shall we? Ah, this is a good one here. The Stokes twins copying Corridor Crew. Corridor Crew is a production company and they have two YouTube channels. They do a lot of VFX reaction videos. They even do their own skits and make their own visual effects. They're a very big company. And as you can see here, three years ago, they made this video, World's Longest Lightsaber. Okay, I think it's ready. This is the world's first real working lightsaber. So the premise of this video was that they made the world's longest lightsaber and it was like a cool little sketch that they did that looks really nice. And here's the thumbnail. Very unique thumbnail. No one is thinking of this. But here we have the Stokes twins once again, busting a thousand movie myths in 24 hours. Their entire channel is about surviving or busting myths or lust to do something. It's kind of boring. Look at this. They even used the plane that was cut in half in their picture and just flipped it. Let's flip this back. Are we seeing this here? Yeah, let me change the opacity. 
they line up perfectly. Get it together, guys. Like, how uh, how can you just blatantly steal someone's thumbnail? This is getting really fun. Let's continue. Um, we have a submission here from someone who posted this onto my subreddit at r slash the Asher show. The Stokes twins just copied Mr. Beast thumbnail, but just to remove a couple of things. Huh. We are currently above one of the world's largest doomsday bunkers, and for the next 50 hours, we're going to simulate exactly what it would be like to be trapped 200 feet underground. April of this year. Surviving 50 hours in a doomsday bunker. Doomsday bunker. I'm pretty sure I saw this like uh, two years ago. There it is. Two years ago, I spent 24 hours in a doomsday bunker. 14 story luxury underground bunker, complete with a pool, garden, movie theater, and so much more with the purpose of giving people a cool place to stay if, you know, the world ended. Stokes twins, what's happening here? This door looks very familiar. They just took this door and pasted it on their own little image here. Is there, can you not find any more Doomsday Bunker pictures? But I get it. The Stokes twins, they admire all these creators. I mean, why else would they be blatantly copying them, right? If they even put in the description of this random video, Mr. Beast, if you're reading this, please put us in your Squid Game video. See what I'm saying? They admire them. They want to be a part of the Mr. Beast team. Maybe they think if they try hard enough and copy enough videos, uh, Daddy Beast is going to notice them. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I'm getting a little information here. They copied Eric? Today, I'm going to be facing 100 fears, starting with the fear of cockroaches. Now, before my face gets locked in a box full of cockroaches, I need to tell you that as time goes on, the other fears in this video will get much more terrifying than this. Facing 100 fears in 24 hours, November 9th, 2021 by Eric. Okay, this is good. I like this. This is a good looking video. I think I actually watched this video already. Today, we're facing 100 fears in 24 hours. We've searched up the most extreme fears known to mankind. And in this video, we're going to be facing all of those fears, starting with the walk of fear. There's going to be five levels that you have to complete, with each level getting more and more extreme. Oh, so it's the same thing. It's exactly the same thing. Facing a hundred fears, except they're just stepping in cockroaches. Not very extreme. At least the thumbnail is a tiny bit different, you know? He's getting covered in cockroaches here, Arak, and the Stoke brother is also getting covered in cockroaches, except he's bleeding from the nose? What the What's going on? We have a brand newcomer. Everybody welcome Brony. Brony, congratulations, you've made it, you've been copied. Check this out. I saw this video here. What happens to your body if you work out for 24 hours straight? What happens when you work out for 24 hours straight? January 15th. This is the beginning of the year they posted this. Look how weird this thumbnail is though. So on one side, he's super ripped and the other side, he's not. But I thought this was way too creative of a video idea. So I just typed it in. I typed it into YouTube. Very easy. And this is the result that I found. Right underneath it is a guy that made it four months before they did. I worked out for 24 hours straight, brony. We are going to work out for 24 hours straight here in my gym. You might be saying to yourself, but the thumbnails are completely different. He's doing bicep curls and he's doing a push up. But hey, check this out. Let's do a little bit of uh, Photoshop magic, shall we? Does that background look familiar to you? Here, let's change the opacity. Notice how it completely lines up perfectly. They couldn't even come up with their own moon and sun are you kidding like the easiest thing in the world what did they do just add some stars the stokes twins they're outrageous i don't understand why they decided to continue copying well i guess if they're not they're getting away with it right they just bought a nice mansion they just got the awesome mcbroom mansion in la why would you stop now? Okay, here's an honorable mention. This was a video called Testing Viral TikTok Gadgets Made by Faze Rug. You can all see the thumbnail here. He made it on January 6th, 2021. Here's the Stokes Twins on January 15th, 2021. Here's Preston on January 24th, 2021. And finally, oh, it is Ryan Prunty. He decided to come in late February 2021 with this banger of a thumbnail. Who did it better, guys? Who has the better expression in their face? My favorite is the intros. They're all the same. We're all addicted to TikTok, right? I know you scroll through your For You page and you might see these crazy cool gadgets and wonder, do they actually work? So we're all addicted to TikTok, right? I know you scroll on your For You page and you see these crazy cool gadgets and wonder, do they even work? Well, today- Ryan Prunty, did you just word for word copy that intro? Wow. Okay, it seems like this is everything that I have in the document here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you did, I'll be back very soon with some more copycat cases. If you spot a copycat online, go into r slash the Asher show and make sure you post some pictures in there and be sure to treat you next time.
Hey everyone, I would like to apologize for stealing content. Eric and all the other YouTubers I stole content from are a big inspiration to me in general, and I wanted to make videos just like them. I don't know what went through my head to steal full thumbnails or intros. This video and all the comments made me realize that. From now on this won't happen again, and if I've taken inspiration from a video idea or thumbnail, I'll put the credits in the description. I have also put the credits in the description for my previous videos. I would like to say sorry to all the creators who have copied content from. You deserve the credits. We did it, we did it.